Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei. Make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 261. Okay. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Funniest nigga in the universe. I will be streaming tonight. Check me out on Twitch. You will be highly entertained, my boy. But look, so we have a lot of things to discuss about NBA 2K21 next year. Y'all let me know if you finally got your hands a hold of a next gen console. And be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want. Or if you're trying to get a next gen console, because I do be tweeting when they do drop. And um, I think like over 100 people have got gotten a ps5 because of me so make sure y'all follow me on twitter link in description dickhead but um anywho there's a lot of stuff i need y'all to mobilize okay it's a lot of stuff wrong with next gen it's a lot of good things stuff like that but look listen i'm giving y'all you know insider news my boy so look one of my niggas one of y'all niggas in the real nigga academy that's what i call y'all by the way let me know what you think of that he sent me a picture of what baluba said and joe no stream about like a couple days ago ago or yesterday i don't really know basically you know as you see what you think about the contact dunk frequency now and then he showed me the um the clip and basically and i you know i, I don't feel like showing the goddamn video and shit because you know he's sending me it i'm not gonna scream it's just ass quality basically what he said was what joe no said was he thinks contact dunk frequency is fine after the patch that they did so this probably means it's probably means that they're most likely not gonna nerf contact dunking anymore at least when it comes to patch three etc y'all let me know how y'all feel about that um i don't know I, I i think it's i think it's okay um there do be some crazy contact dunks but it's very exciting i like it um I don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't know, but it seems like they value Joe's opinions. Um, this nigga Baluba. But anywho, let's get into the rest of it. Now, before I get into Ronnie 2K's tweets, man, look, listen, we have a very important problem. Even for you niggas that don't got the game, listen. What who what the is this video play? Hey, let me uh, oh niggas go ass up, nigga look so a very important issue i don't know who came up with these this idea whoever it is you, you need to reevaluate your life my nigga whatever dev it is you 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 lost your fucking mind look they have it to where when you i don't know why this isn't a bigger deal when you play at rival parks you get half the rep that's so fucking stupid bro it's going to make it to where everyone just plays with people in their affiliation at their fucking home courts so they get the most rep that means less diversity you're splitting the community apart because people want to get their most rep why would why would bro i was playing last night with Flo, right he's a different affiliation i was at his um affiliation shits right they're north side or beast i don't know they're one of them niggas and that shit says half rep you're getting half rep well, who thought of that for what that shit is stupid <laughs> what is the point bro it's so dumb it's literally dumb not everyone's gonna join their friends in the affiliation they, like let people get their max rep what the fuck it has to be changed. So you guys need to come on Twitter and tweet at these niggas. It's the only way. It's the only way. It's the only way. You have a voice. If you don't got a Twitter, make a Twitter and follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna make some tweets um, later on tonight or today. I'm tagging 2K, I'm tagging them. I got a lot 
of issues with the game that need to be fixed and it will make this game much better um yeah so let's read the replies duke says look, look at my nigga duke my nigga duke standing up for the community man what's the what's duke hit that surge you know he been talking i fuck with it i fuck with it he say change the wreck look been looking the same skin for about three years now my nigga duke my nigga duke can we get my nigga duke in the comment section i fuck with it man i, I you know I've, I've voiced this too um, a lot of the courts that they have actually in the park are dope as fuck. Imagine if those were rec courts. Oh my God. And imagine if you could wear your own clothes. That would be heat. But but if, if they don't want to do their own clothes shit and then just like make people glow like the same color or something or have some under them be like the same color. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think of that idea. I'm a genius. But bruh if they had those like the mamba courts and all that for the the wreck it would look so much better it would be so much more ple like just visually pleasing now also another thing they did iggy mo this little um school sniper you know he says please also add rep in 3v3 pro-am just don't add it in for private 3v3 pro-am mode is actually so much better this year and it does look better um what they did y'all let me know if y'all ever played 3v3 pro-am um what they did is they took rep out of it i don't think they know that um they took it out the normal mode so like why would people match make i mean so confusing um <laughs> i don't know if they're trying to fix it but what people would do um probably about 80 percent of the legends uh they basically would just boost in private 3v3 pro-am lobbies because they would get rep for it and people would just boost in there and boost in there all day with their friends and shit like that right um yeah that's weird right and none of them got banned but niggas get banned for like the vc glitch and you know? <laughs> I, I don't know but um Y'all let me know if y'all think matchmaking for 3v3 pro am should uh, get rep. I, I do. You know, sometimes mo a lot of niggas can't get games since since y'all got this big ass city, you know, with this little 100 player thing. Uh, yeah, y'all got to fix that. But anywho, here's what Ronnie actually says. I didn't even say this. I don't know why. Ronnie says, here you guys on the divide between rep for park and rec center games we are going to be trying to even that up in the coming days probably source you guys for info over the next few days so this means you niggas need to make a twitter and y'all need to voice what i'm voicing because i am brilliant and i know what's best for us you know i know what's best for us now if you guys didn't know the best way to get rep is to actually play the rec center um it doesn't really compare I think what they might be doing is they might be nerfing Rec to make a uh, park be closer, but I think they should probably actually buff it. I, I, I actually don't know how I feel about this. I just think it should like kind of be even. Um because I don't know if I I don't really want too many legends this year. Uh y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Like a lot of people being legends. You know, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, bro. Niggas get 40 extra badges. Uh, 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 I don't know. But um, the gap definitely needs to be closed. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, Young Baluba done came out with a leak, my boy. And by the way, the rec center is also, like, broken. Like, it's not broken. Um, People can quit. And like not get a loss for it right and once people quit it doesn't give you the win I don't know if it gives you rep y'all let me know um I don't think it I don't think it gives you rep either I don't know but yeah people play all the way to like fourth quarter like tryhards and then they'll just quit the game it's terrible it's stupid as hell but anywho young baluba says attributes always matter badges basically enhance your existing ratings Mm. do attributes always matter or does the badge take over once applied yeah th th this is true man you know a badge might add three attributes it might add seven ten or even more 
to your existing attribute. A lot of people don't know that shit. This guy's saying on ball D needs a buff. Definitely does. People kind of like slide through you in the game. Like um, you can get some contact um, like clamp animations, but like overall, like it's like it's weird. <laughs> it's weird as hell. Let's see what else Young Baluba got to say. So Lee tweeted out, can we do something to make players actually play on ball D in my team? Man, I remember those days of play now, my league, not like my league single player. I'm not one of those bum ass niggas, but actually like, you know, the fantasy leagues versus people on Facebook and shit like that. And just playing like online and you know, people always do off ball and stuff. But he says, nothing worse than playing with someone who only controls the center. Disgusting. That was the meta. I used to do the same thing because they didn't fix it. But um, it seemed like they might got a good system. Um, well, not like now, but like overall, like they just make CPUs ass to where you could just always hit the three. If you don't go control them, it might be it might be the way. But um. <clears throat> Baluba says, user controlled defenders get a much larger boost to defensive impact compared to CPU defenders. They also get more favorable body up resolutions and other things. So it's a big disadvantage to play off ball in my team. Y'all let me know if this is true. Um, I replied saying buff on ball D even more. This is good that you're focusing on that. And I said perimeter contests need a buff and fading needs a nerf. This is very true. I've made so many 60%, 40s. I've seen them made on me. Made on is, you know, the contest system ass, nigga. Like, contest system, like, 19. I ain't gonna hold you. 19 and 18, bro. Shit crazy. AI defense. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the AI defense thing. On-ball defense in general in this game is just bad. Y'all know if Lamont's a complainer, <laughs> it's an issue. <laughs> You know, Mike on ball defense in general in this game is just bad. It's like we don't have any lateral click quickness or Hall of Fame clamps. Now, if you guys didn't know, almost everyone has like a 90 plus lateral quickness because it's your perimeter defense stat too. And um, yeah, like people can kind of like just go through you. Um, it's kind of weird. Let's see what else. I don't know. That's about it, man. Make sure y'all like this video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notice, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this, what you think needs to be fixed in the game, etc. I'm going to see you niggas tomorrow. Go check out my KD build. It's a goaded build. Check out all my other builds. Gameplay swag, come on, my nigga. And, um, yeah.